I want to show you my process of sculpting using shapes. Of course, you need to learn the tools in Nomad Sculpt, but everything essentially comes from shapes. Once you start using shapes to make your sculpts, they're going to look so much better. In this video, I'll be sculpting Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. The tutorial will be out soon. Three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to the process video of Stitch. I've actually been wanting to sculpt him for a long time. I think I want to 3D print him as well. A long time ago, I saw someone 3D print Stitch and I was like, you know what? I want to make my own Stitch and 3D print him. As you can see, some clever things with spheres, with cylinders. The ears are cylinders, are cylinders. And I figured that out actually a long time ago because all the sorts of animals always have those kind of cupped ears. So I found that when you bend a cylinder, that's the sort that's the easiest way to sort of get that shape. And a lot of it is from just sculpting Disney characters, different types of characters, different styles of 2D artwork. Uh, it really helps to sculpt different styles that that's kind of funny. Sometimes you're, you're kind of making shapes and then they start to look a little sus. But um, hopefully YouTube doesn't flag because YouTube, YouTube does flag some of my uh, sculpts actually. But here using the tube tool for the legs, uh, spheres for the bodies, and then obviously the cylinder that I just sort of manipulate. Uh, but everything is, I, I try to, it takes a long time because everything is very precise, but really everything is just so simple. When you think about just one step at a time, one piece at a time, everything is quite simple. Now these are the more complicated tools, you know, things like mask, but once you need to do things a certain way, that's when things like mask really come into play because there's really no other way to do certain things. Or I should say there's no other way to do it in a very concise, efficient way. I love the little tail there. And then the mouth, obviously I'm just using a crease and using some clay to add some cheeks to them to give them a little bit of personality. I do also want to do a version with his uh, mouth open just because, you know, I like to make things with teeth. And if I'm gonna 3 if I'm gonna 3D print him, of course I wanna have one with the mouth open and with teeth. Maybe I'll do both. The hair using the tube tool. The tube tool is so useful now that we can do the um, what's it called? The profile. Very, very useful. Uh, lots of skin folds with the inflate tool. Uh, voxel remeshed everything together. When you voxel remesh things together, that way it becomes one solid piece and you can smooth them all out together. Lighting, of course, one of my favorite things to do in Nomad. Lighting and subsurface, uh, the material subsurface for, for your mesh, those are the key. I was just saying on YouTube, I think it was YouTube or Facebook, someone posted some things today and subsurface and proper lighting, clever lighting is really the key to make things look really fantastic. But it all comes back to shapes. Uh, when you put shapes together in very deliberate ways and just do really clever things that really is just from picking up from the 2D world, from 2D drawing. It all comes together. It's all about shapes. So just remember when you're making your sculpts, think about things as shapes and your sculpting will improve immensely. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.